here we go. Wow, so welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome to this Zoom. And this is a very a dear topic to me, <laughs> the power of touch. In my Facebook event, um, I actually asked you a question. I wrote, what does touch mean to you? And what does your body know about touch? And do you ever touch your body and allow your body to know you and you to know your body? I hope that you had the possibility to look at the questions. Otherwise, I will ask a lot of questions tonight. So let's see how we can inspire you to get the greater communion with what the touch means to you. So good evening, everyone. Good evening from Belgrade. I'm Vladica, Vladica Djordjevic, uh, Certified Access Consciousness Facilitator, Free Day Body Class Facilitator, and a global, global citizen, I would like to call myself. I live in Sweden but I'm never home. <laughs> so yeah, this is, this is what I created as my life. And um, I just finished the four day class in uh, Belgrade, as I said, which was very, very dynamic. We actually spent like three days talking about um, relationships and uh, letting go of a vows, filthy swearings and communities and projections and expectations that you have from your mother and your father. And I wonder how much of the topic, the power of touch is also a concern. Uh, uh, how, much, how much do we have that as a memory in, uh, in our system? And as I said, as a body facilitator uh, worldwide in different cultures, I do meet people in uh, um, all over. And uh, they, of course, speak different languages. So touch is a very, uh, is a way uh, to communicate with people. So what is actually touch and what does it mean to you? And what do you mean to touch? So let's let's just stay with that question for a while and ponder that question. Is touch a wonderful thing or is it something terrible that uh, that you experience? Is it is it about compassion? Is it about love? Is it about gratitude? Or what does it mean to you? Uh, have you ever been touched by the presence of someone? And maybe it can be a total stranger. Did you ever receive a hug by someone and you felt like you were cared for, liked, acknowledged? Uh, have you ever experienced someone putting their hands on you and you just melt? I just have to mute you guys. Uh, so when you ask a question, you can just raise your hand because we will have a better recording if I mute you. So yes, um, touch. It can be scary to be seen maybe. It, it can be scary to be acknowledged. So how much do you avoid knowing what touch is so that you can create the separation in between you and other people? And as a, certi as a facilitator, I do ask a lot of questions. <laughs> so I will ask a lot of questions tonight, but I will also give you my uh, experience because as a body facilitator, I have really seen miracles. Uh, we do work with those hands-on body processes and we are energetic beings and our bodies are actually energetic bodies. So the way we create a physical is to bring the energetic into the physical. So 
for some of you, maybe the first time you had that caring touch was maybe in a class. I've seen that many times. I experienced when people get their bars run for the first time, and I'm fascinating, fascinated actually every time after a bar session, because it can be a total stranger coming to you uh, for a session, and after the session, they just hug you and kiss you. Sorry, I have to, some, someone is calling me here. Uh, I have to close Facebook, sorry. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Uh... Okay, I'm with you again, I'm sorry. So Facebook is not up anymore. <laughs> Humanoid, I have like 1000 things going on at the same time. So what did I said? I, I was talking about, yeah, I was talking about running bars uh, that maybe it is the first time that someone is coming to you uh, for a session and after the bar session they come and they want to hug you and they smile and maybe it is the first time that they are receiving actually the magic of being touched. So what, what if we actually have a possibility of picking up everybody else's thoughts, feelings and emotions when they touch us? Uh, and what if we can use that to our advantage? And what if that can be like exploring what we pick up from other people? So I also made a little bit of a research and I read about uh, different um, scientific um, studies about touch and uh, what they say is that, for example, um, children who are raised with a lot of physical interaction are not so aggressive, are, uh, tend to be less aggressive and violent. And partners who cuddle a lot, uh, it has been shown that they have lower stress levels and blood pressure and improved Im immune function. And people who, old people who receive uh, the experience of touch, it has shown that they can better handle the process of aging and passing away with dignity. So it is really interesting because from the moment that we are born <laughs> to, to, to the days that to the day that we live that we leave our body uh, touch has a, a central aspect and an impact on us mental uh, on our mental health and our emotional health so i wonder if any of you have actually looked at at this topic at, about you at what age did you maybe cut off your perception uh, because it was hurtful or because uh, you wanted to create a reality that kept you safe and, and secure. And what is it, what kind of decisions and judgments and con conclusions and computations do you have uh, that keeps you away maybe from perceiving and having a world in which in which uh, we in which actually maybe you keep yourself safe from everybody else so that nobody can touch you but in that way you are actually separating yourself from uh, from people uh, so um, what do you know how many of you here are refusing to be more and uh, what is what is your experience of touch? Anyone that would like to add something, you are very welcome to do that. Uh, what, I, what I noticed in classes is uh, that people re uh, refuse to be an energy 
And everything that we refuse is actually everything that we, if you re refuse anything, every, uh, things that you, uh, then you are cutting off um, the caring and the nurturing touch of planet Earth. So if you are refusing to receive, you are actually refusing uh, to be. And that is an energy that is, um, that is keeping you defined and is keeping you limited. So uh, how much of that is actually separating you from your body? And if you really want to find out and get to know your body, and if you really want to find out receiving you, maybe you should allow yourself to receive the caressing and, and the touch. So what, what is it? What is true for you? Do you like to be touched or do you avoid to, to be touched? When somebody is touching you, are you staying there? Are you being present with the person or are you leaving? So what is it for you? Because it is a language and a language of connecting, a language of healing, a, a language of, uh, of soothing. So uh, what, what is your experience of touch? Anyone? I think for me, it definitely depends on the energy of the person. Yes. And, and you know, <laughs> what are they bringing? Um, uh, and even as a child, a lot of times when someone would try to cuddle me, I would feel really confined. Like, yeah. I need to get out of here. I need to get free. Not with those words, but just like, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, and how much actually as a child did you perceive the projections and expectations that they had about you when they wanted to touch you? So uh, everything that is, let's destroy and uncreate that energy, right or wrong, good and bad, put and poke on my shorts, voice and beyonds. And if anyone is new here online and doesn't know about the clearing statement from Access Consciousness, you can find it on theclearingstatement.com. So um, we are actually, we have embodied everything in this reality and embodiment is our awareness of everything that is around us. So this is why, this is the reason actually that we can feel that somebody is coming or a car is coming too fast behind us. We have all that awareness, but what we do is that we shut it down. So we keep ourselves actually into the five senses of, of this reality. And, but our body is much more than that. So the question is, how much are you creating yourself as the effect of the embodiment and not receiving everything? Everything that is times a gazillion, destroy and uncreate it all. Right, wrong, good, bad, for poor, online, shorts, voice and beyonds. And what would actually happen if you embraced and, and you became the energy and the space and the consciousness that you truly be so that your body can be a contribution to consciousness and your body is is a contribution actually to consciousness and it is always greater than than the image of what we have with the body as a point of view and as the difficulties that we create with the body uh, yeah anyone else Anything you would like to add or to ask? I think any, some, someone wrote here something. Ah, here we go. Here is the chat. I love getting a massage. My body loves it. Yes, so do I. <laughs> and this morning I received a massage and I received a, a foot massage and a face massage. So how much are you allowing your body to receive that? 
And in that way, the more you are allowing your body, to, the more actually that you do uh, access and the more body processes that you receive, my experience is that you are allowing yourself to create the phenomenon of having a body. And it doesn't have to be any reason or justification for that. You're just allowing yourself to receive the infinite you as a space and a conscious embodiment. Um, so yeah, what can we gift and receive tonight, and what is possible with this with this uh, with this conversation? I would actually love to have you all all involved. So if you want me to facilitate, or you have a question to ask, it is much easier for me than to just speak about it. So. And please add, what contribution can you be to this conversation? So, I mean, we have Vinny here, she's a CF, and we have Sylvia, she is also CF, and Kathy is a certified facilitator. And you guys work with bodies a lot. So what is your experience? What would you like to share about touch tonight? I definitely sense the difference from people um even after a first sparse session but in um in foundation class you know it's really amazing when we start to work with the different body processes and people find so much ease you know from biomimetic mimicry or i remember i still have the photos of a woman it was maybe her second or third foundation her first one from me and she, she got off the table after MTVSS. And if you don't know what that is, it's an amazing body process that changes a lot that's going on with um, your body in terms of um, immunity and illness, almost any way the body is malfunctioning. And she, like, you can see her eye. <laughs> it's like, and she has this look on her face knowing that, her body is totally different, but she's she's shocked in a good way, and also like she's are longer. <laughs> and it was just so funny to watch that um, that surprise and that transformation after being only on the table for an hour and a half or so, you know, like that, and and having that conscious nurturing touch. Yes. That's real. Yeah, I have also so many um, stories about that. And when facilitating a foundation and we actually go to the body processes, the energy of a class is changing totally. And all the people are becoming so much lighter and so much more uh, space. And then they can finally, you know, let go. So how much, how much of, of, um, how much of a program that we are living in this reality is actually locked into our bodies? Everything that is times a gazillion, would you be willing to destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pop, online, shorts, boys and beyonds. There is so much that is spoken and unspoken. And we as beings, we have this capacity to perceive energies. And it doesn't matter. I mean, people can touch us by, 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 by just by their being, uh, we have all been in, in situations when we are with someone and they don't even have to speak to us. And then we just get this energy of, oh my God, I feel so great. I feel so good uh, around this person. So what is that? What is that? What if that is a possibility of being the space of receiving everyone? And when you lower all your barriers and you, when you receive people, this is a place where we can all function from this beauty of conscious embodiment. So yeah, everything that doesn't allow us that, let's destroy and uncreate it all. Right, wrong, good, bad, 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 online, shorts, voice, and beyond. And how much of being that space is also a possibility and a benefit to connect with the earth and to receive the, the energies of the earth. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Kathy, by the way. Uh, 
um, I would like to share to you. Can you hear me? Yes. <laughs> like, uh, to share something that touched me yesterday. Yes. It was about touch. <laughs> we went to the, um, I don't know what it's called in English, a home for elderly people, uh, where and Andrea's mother lives. And she is 89. And she, is, uh, she has dementia. Yes. So, so um, she, uh, and we went there and she has a new um, friend there. He is 93. And this, a new boyfriend. A new boyfriend, yes. <laughs> and that was so touching because these two uh, people were so happy and they were so, um, um, and in this presence of this dementia, because she is always present, it's, uh, it's anyway, it's funny to talk to her because she's always in the now and they are so happy and they can't keep their hands off each other. <laughs> And, they, and now the, the strange thing is that Andreas has to allow them to go in one room together. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you go back to that place when they are like children, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. And it, was, uh, it was so touching, these this, um, this happy uh, old people, um, which can't, they just touch each other all the time and kiss, and it was so great. And I, I just want to be like that when I'm, I don't want to have this dementia. No, put, put and put all of that. You don't want yeah. to have dementia. But, <laughs> but I want to have this, uh, this energy of just, um, yes, this, uh, they just love to be touched at the moment, both of them. It was great. Yes, uh, thank you so much for sharing this beautiful story. And this is the reason why I'm being so obnoxious about the body classes, because uh, in a body class, we really get this different reality with our body, because we start to get a sense, a sense of peace and a sense of awareness and a sense of a space of what bodies are aware of, and we have this possibility, as you said, about, uh, about her being here and now and being present. So, yeah, this was such a beautiful story and such a contribution to what is possible with receiving. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I just, yeah, I just wanted to share um, uh, experiences with the body where someone would be giving me a bar session and this was early on and she was touching what i thought was the top of my head and i said you're pressing too hard and she says i'm not even there so apparently the body was the body bar was picking up something and I said, oh, because I think someone in the background was playing um, one of Dane's body telecalls. And so the bar was running really strong. She says, I'm not even touching it. <laughs> yes, okay. yeah, exactly. And he's actually talking about this in uh, Body Whisperer, I think. Uh, he, I did a class with him in Rome uh, a couple of years ago, and he's touched, talking about about our energetic bodies. So we are energetic before we come into this physical reality. So uh, it is not strange at all, but we can actually perceive uh, in a distance from who knows how far away. I don't have any answer on that. What do you know about bodies? And what do you know about possibilities uh, from where, what space and what place you can get the information or the, the sense of being touched. Yeah. Thank you, Vinny. How beautiful. <laughs> Anyone else that would like to share something or add or ask? Hello. Can I? Yes. 
So, uh, first of all, I'm so grateful for you and for your three-day body class because it changed totally my life, really. So, uh, after, <laughs> after Zagreb, uh, it was like uh, I have uh, wings which, uh, which are growing and uh, I can fly now to the possibilities. And really, it was it was in Zagreb after Zagreb that uh, that I started uh, to to see these possibilities. So very very grateful. And uh, what I wanted to share that I started so I did uh, uh, two times the three day body class and this, I I started to become facilitator of. Uh, um three or four hours classes and um it's uh it's amazing how it changes real the reality of people about uh their uh their their uh thoughts so um I can understand what how you enjoy uh, to to be a three day facilitator because it's it's really so I, I facilitated three four classes body classes now uh, two times the generative sexual energy and uh, uh, some others and it totally changed the 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 people's energy and. So it's so nice, and I I'm really now so happy to to do this to to be the contribution, and thank you because that was you who <laughs> generated <laughs> this. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you you for choosing to become more of you, and thank you you for actually being willing to step up because this is what you asked for. Uh, so that you can uh, get into your access your capacities and do and be and create what is fun for you so yeah thank you, yeah, thank you so much and really i mean in a, in a body class it is so much about the nurturing and the care and the um, and the possibility for people to access the gifts that they have with their body. So touch is also about allowing you to release all the judgments, all the conclusions, everything that you have that doesn't allow you to, to be that vibrancy of life, of living. Because uh, if you allow yourself actually to know your body, in my body classes, I inspire people a lot to just touch the body, get up in the morning. So if you get up in the morning and you start to touch your hands and to touch your face and to ask your body, so body, what would you like to do today? What would you like to create today? Show me. And uh, the more that you communicate with your body, the more you include your body in the computation of your own life, your life would really change dramatically and the body will respond in uh, on like my body doesn't like smoke and i'm in belgrade and in every restaurant wherever i go they smoke everywhere they smoke in restaurants they smoke in on, on the streets they smoke in hotel rooms everywhere so i'm like i have created some allergy to all of this so, <laughs> i love to come here but oh my god all this smoke <laughs> so, so, so sorry it's so strange because i have a neighbor who is smoking and it was today that it it, it uh, disturbed me and i just asked what else is possible sorry because yeah. of the light <laughs> so it's it's so uh, amazing that you mentioned this uh, now. So everything uh, we are talking about is always uh, a contribution, and and it's it's amazing how the energy of uh, so when there is uh, something we are speaking about, uh, it's always touching and always concerning uh, at that moment people. So uh, it's really uh, a trans mission of uh, of energy which exists yeah. 
Exactly, actually everything. I mean, anything, any touch, every conversation is a transmission of energy, as you said, and a connection and a contribution. So please remember that we are all connected no matter where we are in the world and whatever I am experiencing is a contribution to you or the opposite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So thank you so much for sharing that with us. I see that we have two people from Hungary on. We have Gabriela also, and she did a class with me in, in Amsterdam. So um, anyone else, would you like to add something on, uh, uh, on this or share something? Because your stories are actually much, much more powerful uh, than anyone else's so everything that you experience and everything that you know is a contribution to the world i just wanted to say about your three-day body class um coming up in hawaii that this is a no brainer and the pun is intended because it's not about your head. It's about your body. So I would like to invite everybody to come to the three day body class in Maui. In How does it get any better? It's in January. So while most people are in the cold, we're going to be in the nice warm area actually um right across from the beach so from our classroom we can hear the waves and um you know possibly look out and see the ocean so when they talk about hawaii do you, what, what is happening to your bodies <laughs> yeah are you being touched <laughs> Start singing. Start singing. Yes. <laughs> My body starts singing. Yeah. Yes. The energies on Hawaii are miraculous. That is my experience. And uh, for me, it was, um, I facilitated a, cl a class. Thank you so much, Kathy, for hosting me. Uh, uh, we had a class last year. And personally, for me, that was a big shift. Uh, for me, it was a huge contribution to access more of this gentleness of this female energy. I don't know about the island, if it is the island of, if it is the energy of a woman, but certainly I, that was the energy that I, that I received. And uh, yeah, I would love all of you to come and to experience, to experience the space that you can, uh, that you can experience in Hawaii and walking on the beach, on the beach, or uh, I mean, on a volcano island is a totally, totally different experience. It's like like the nature is talking to you; it is speaking to you all the time. It catches you in different ways. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I don't have so much more to say about this. I would like to say that I have a lot of upcoming classes and uh, I'm on my way to Tokyo and then to France. And next year we will begin with Hanover and then Hawaii, Istanbul and when i'm coming to ravensburg and sylvia is hosting me i'm so grateful for that and uh, we have a lot of amazing body processes in the manual uh, and you your body will be on a table for free day receiving and gifting and eliminating and all the um, everything that you have locked into your body so that you can access 
um, your your capacities and your gifts and, and the vitality and um, this is something that you have to experience if you haven't done a body class but if you have done a foundation class you already know what we are talking about and with that i would like to empower you to please remember uh, that as we talked about tonight that touch uh, is bringing us closer together <laughs> it is reducing stress it is uh, uh, it is making us nicer and happier and uh, it is also gifting us a possibility to access our awareness and uh, please remember that your body is your best friend and please remember that the closest relationship that you can ever have is actually with your body uh, so uh, that is the greatest gift that we have on uh, on planet earth it is to have created this physical body and the, the phenomenon of embodiment because um, this is where where we can this is with the body we can experience everything so the rule the, the number one thing is to stop judging your body and actually being willing to look at your body as what is this amazing 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 friend that i have that is speaking and communicating to me all the time uh, and what can i be or do to to listen to my body and to actually gift my body what my body is asking for and if you start there you will be able to generate a phenomenal body uh, this is the experience that I have in classes where it can manifest uh, that you look younger, that you lose weight, that uh, you become more vital, that uh, uh, you will get out of pain. So uh, be willing to really, really, really lower your barriers and be really present with the moment of your body and the space and talk hi beautiful body how are you uh, what are you telling me and let us really be this energy and tell your body how grateful you are and you will see you will see that the change will come quite quickly <laughs> yeah so thank you so much for it this was a short zoom um I hope it was an inspiration and I hope to see you soon in a class. And thank you so much for sharing your stories and your contribution. So thank you. I wish you all a wonderful time and please touch your body and allow touch to be a part of your life. Thank and, um Vladi yeah. will also be on an Imperfect Brilliance radio show later this month, if you um, would like to hear. Do you remember what you were going to talk about? I think I was going oh. to talk about choice and the, the magic of uh, being present. Uh, okay. Because you, you, I don't know if all of you know, but I actually wrote a book. <laughs> and what would it take for my book to be published in English soon? Yay. I'm, uh, yay, I'm waiting for answers from publishers. But I did wrote a book about that, about the magic of not giving up, uh, the magic of um, choosing joy and uh, the magic of gratitude. So uh, let's That's see. Right. You were saying, yes, you'll talk about the magic of being present. Yes. So well, to be present and aware, to be in allowance, is the potency that can change anything. So um, she was going to be on the show today uh, in a couple of hours, but um, that's 
changing. So you can go to iom.fm and click on Imperfect Brilliance or go to imperfectbrilliance.com and sign up for the newsletter and then you'll know when she's going to be on the radio. So you. Um, for that conversation. Today we're talking with Andrew Gardella since you... Um, oh, thank you. Thank you, Andro. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Andro. <laughs> uh, yeah, he hopped in uh, um, at last minute, so that's amazing. So if you want to hear that, it's on iom.fm, and it's um, 6 p.m. Eastern, so I'm, um, I think it's at midnight where, where you are. Yes, it is. It is. Yeah. So it's in two hours. I I will be sleeping. I, <laughs> Good. For you. Thank you. I have a TV interview tomorrow morning. So. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here. And um, can you give everyone your website just uh, in case they want to? I know that all the body classes are on the Access Consciousness site, but also maybe people would like to see your website. Yes, all the body classes are on Access Consciousness, and my website is www.vladitsajorjevic.com. All right. Yes, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you for your contribution, and see you soon. Okay, thank bye. You. Bye. Aloha, everybody. Aloha. <laughs>